Yesterday, the Islamic Society of Fargo-Moorhead held an event called Meet Your Muslim Neighbor. Good turnout, roughly 400 people attended. So with us tonight is the event's chairman. Also a recent graduate up at UND, got his doctorate in English, Mozab Bajaber. So now you or your parents are from Saudi Arabia, you spent some time there. So I want to kind of get some context on your okay. take on, I think what a lot of people are seeing as well is they're concerned about um, Sharia, you know, really come to the United States. And so I guess my question for you is, are you okay with the secular governance? Yeah, personally, I'm 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 more uh, towards a liberal understanding of things. So um, so I like to say, um, like live and let live. Um, you want to practice your religion, go ahead and do it. You want to live your life the way you want. I mean, everybody is free to do whatever they want, um, as long as people are respecting each other and you know being decent and and nice. So so, so I'm not. A... Yeah. So I understand. I, I, I'm more I'm more towards secular, strict separation between you know state and. Religion. In the mosque. Okay. So, for example, yeah, like if there was an opportunity for you to have maybe Sharia tribunals in the United States, would you be for that? Or? Well, I don't know what, what the word Sharia is really, to be honest with you. Um, I, I explained this yesterday. You know, when we talk about Sharia, what is Sharia exactly? Um, in Arabic, it means Sharia means law or legislation. Um, and there are some, if you look at the Quran, there are also some general guidelines on how to do things. But then it's very, very loose. It's open to interpretation, and people can take it all sorts of ways. So, the word Sharia, you know, we, when we talk about Sharia, you know, we have to define what does that mean. Um, if you're talking about um, like an ISIS understanding of Sharia, or you're talking about um, a Taliban understanding of Sharia, then I'm we talking about we, a Saudi Arabia understanding of Sharia. Or a Saudi Arabian understanding of Sharia, we got lots of issues. Like I, personally speaking, you know, we got lots of. I think there's a lot of issues that need to be sorted out and clarified, and um, and things are really open to interpretation. You can't just say this is it. I'm speaking on behalf of God, you know. But I think that's where people are questioning because most Muslims would say this is the word of Allah, you know, dot the well, I's, cross the T's, word of Allah, the Quran. And my understanding is that when he went from Mecca to Medina, mm -hmm. that's when it really became more of a of a law, a political ideology, over than more just a religion. And so they're saying, hey, when we follow this, that thus constitutes Sharia. Is that? Semi-accurate or? Uh, well, you're talking about the Quran. See, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Quran is a very—it's an old text, so it's a 1,400 years old text. Um, it's written in old Arabic, um, and it's very, very—it's you know, open to interpretation. So it depends on who you are and what political background you come from, and um, and you—you you know—a lot of people take it all different sorts of ways. So should the U.S. Constitution trump Sharia? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't understand the question. I mean, so should the should the U.S. Constitution, because many people are concerned that, hey, what's happening now, obviously, in a lot of Europe is that they're trying to have Sharia now overtake some of the laws that are taking yeah, place that's, in the I, EU. So hold on a second, sir. My question to you I mean. is, should the U.S. Constitution trump Sharia? Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, if, we, if we decide on what, what kind of Sharia you're talking about. Uh, but, but yes, um, so what kind a, of Sharia, a secular, kind of a secular, a secular state. So we're talking about the U.S., should have nothing to do with religion whatsoever, you know, and, and law it should be a secular law. Uh, people could have their own religion and their own worship places. They should not be, you know, imposed on anyone whatsoever. And you is, said that, that, is that your question? I your think question? so, because you just said yeah. it depends on the kind of Sharia. So what kind of Sharia should trump the Constitution? Oh, well, any religion should not be in any state legislation. Um, that's my personal opinion. I, know, I, I, I don't know about many people, but as I told you, I'm not a a scholar in these issues, but I, no, I this is my personal why, opinion. That's yeah. why I appreciate you being here, because again, I Correct, think people yeah. just want to have this conversation. And so, one of the things, the Muslim reform movement, we had Azra Nomani on a while back, and she's okay. kind of leading this Muslim reform movement, if you will, saying, hey, we want a secular government, we don't want Sharia to be sort of a political ideology or, or a law across the U.S. Correct. And again, you being from Saudi Arabia, I know they got some tough rights for women, so my question to you is, one of the things this Muslim reform movement is for is we support equal rights for women, mm -hmm. including rights to inheritance, witness, work, mobility, personal education, and employment. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, good. Yeah, I think, yeah, of course. Um, 